sorry, I don't know where she is. She's just late. I mean, God. Um, yeah, but I think you'll be great. What is going on here? Oh, uh, <laughs> hi, Jill. Uh, um, well, Laura's been inspired by your presenting recently, and I thought because you're late, she could just take over for one show. Is that all right? You're getting called up left, right, and centre at the minute. You know what? Have a go, but it's not as easy as it looks. You're watching Lionesses Down Under, connected by EE. E. That was all right. Of all the titles. <laughs> Welcome back to Lionesses Down Under, connected by EE. E. Laura Coombs has popped in to say hello. Welcome to the show, Coombsy. Thank you. Should be a fun one. Looking forward to it. It's nice to have you here in the <laughs> studio. We've got a great show for you today, guys. You do not want to miss anything, all right? We're going to get the inside track from the England camp from Laura. And, of course, we'll be speaking to a Barclays WSL legend, yes, Jilly Flatty, will be joining us a little bit later on. Don't go anywhere. If you've got any questions as well, drop them in the chat right now. I'll be going through it during the show. Remember to use the hashtag Lionesses Down Under on all of our social channels. We want to hear from you. Yes, we do. Right, Laura, let's get straight into it. It's great to have you with us, as I've said. How are you doing? How's Australia been so far? Yes, yeah, good. Yes, yeah, mad. We've been here two weeks now and loving it second place we've been to and yeah just enjoying every minute have you had a chance to get round brisbane you know i'm a massive massive coffee fan tell us <laughs> yeah. you've got a recommendation <laughs> for us yeah but i'm scared because you really know your coffee and i like, like she actually really does <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Judging as we've been going around trying the different coffee shops this is a great coffee cow this isn't i'm scared to give my order in front of her in case she's judging me so yeah, yeah. i'm not gonna lie I hang, I hang around with Neve Charles and she really judges me because I the first question I walk in, I'm like, do you do syrup? <laughs> and she's <laughs> like, no! no. <laughs> she just like looks swearing. at me, gives me like the dirtiest look. Like, ugh. Like, what, what do you go for? What's your order though? Come on, you, if you get in a syrup, what would yeah. you go for? Um, I get ice latte with caramel. Ooh. Is it okay? It's a good choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We Thanks. approve out of 10? Mm. Seven. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Generous, that's all right. Now, we're just two days away from England's first match. Obviously, you've got Haiti. It's going to be exciting, mm -hmm. kicking the, the tournament off in style, yeah. hopefully, for you guys as well. Um, for everyone at home, 10.30 in the morning, all right, you'll be able to catch that one. So make sure you've got your cup of tea. Make sure you've got your coffee. You've got an inspiration there on the coffee <laughs> order, all right. What's the mood like in the camp? You've been training, you said you've been here for two weeks. Everyone's got a smile on their face. Yeah, no, it's good. Uh, training's been, yeah, it's been going pretty smoothly and everyone's working really hard and you can just tell everyone really wants the games to get underway now. I think everyone feels ready for it. Yeah, and this is here, his first World Cup, so a lot of the fans won't have seen much from them, mm -hmm. really. We know a lot of their players play in the USA and play in France. Can you yep. give us any insight into what to expect? Oh, we've we've obviously identified their key as um, one of the players who's just signed for Leon. Yeah. who's just pace and power. She looks a bit of a problem, to be honest. But um, I think we've got enough pace and power within our own squad to hopefully deal with it. Um, but across the board, they just look like real athletes, and that's the kind of game we're expecting—a physical battle. Yeah. Now, I've just seen some of the training from this week, but I thought, let's throw it back, all right? I was doing my research. <laughs> I was on the computer this morning trying to find these different things, and I thought, oh, what's this I found? 2009. Oh, we've got a picture oh, right no. here. Hopefully not too embarrassing for you. Oh. It's you celebrating a goal against Slovakia for England under-19s. I mean, can you remember this game? Can yeah. you remember this day? Yeah, I can actually. I think I scored two. Oh, you look like a little go. baby. How old <laughs> I did. Like, <laughs> like nine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That kit, though, that was oh, classic. Oh. Very, yeah, classic. Um, I mean, what does it mean to represent your country, even at different levels? Obviously, being here at World Cup, but under 19s, it must be a very special moment for yourself every single time you step onto that pitch. Yeah, you know, we work so hard. We put a lot of life on hold um, for training and matches and it just makes it feel all worthwhile when you get selected and you're able to come to um, 
well, uh, a major tournament. It's just amazing. And just to put on the England shirt in general is, yeah. Yeah, how special is this tournament in terms of from one cup to the next, 2015 to 2023? <laughs> I have witnessed firsthand how consistent <laughs> you've been at club level. Because of you, I had to go out on loan twice. <laughs> to get any game time. But it's not about me. It's not about <laughs> no, honestly, this call-up is so well-deserved. Like, Was that England dream always alive for you? I think deep down, yeah, but then also because it hadn't happened for a while, I did sort of not think about it for a long time, just for my own sake, really. Just um, didn't want to feel disappointed, but I always knew if I could string quite a few performances together, you've always got a good chance because managers always say that's what they're looking for. So, yeah. yeah. And I mean, when it comes to being called up, the question everyone wants to know, where were you when you got the phone call or the, the video call? Yeah. It might have been all right. So talk us through that. How did it feel when you finally got the call? And have you got Serena's number saved now? You're not ignoring yeah, any calls this no, time, no? No, um, this time I was at home, I was ready for it. I was not in a nice bath this time. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I was just, uh, I, was, I was ready for it. I was sat, well, not quite watching the phone, but. Oh, I've been there before when you've yeah. got a call and you don't know when it's coming. Yeah. It's like you're manifesting it. You put yeah. it in there, you're going to call. It lights up, you see that it's Serena and she gives you obviously the good news. Mm -hmm. That must have felt in, like amazing for yourself. Yeah, it was a massive relief. I think I was um, a bit speechless because you kind of think, oh, I'll say this, I'll say that. And then when it comes to it, I don't think I said anything. I was just like spluttering out some words and that was it at the end of the call. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was on the toilet for one of mine. No, you were. <laughs> was, oh, yeah. That does not surprise me. 2011, <laughs> but yeah, hopefully, well, it was good news, but I was on the toilet. <laughs> So it's been, we've mentioned, from 2015 to 2023. You're familiar with a lot of the girls in the squad mm -hmm. anyway through club football, but what surprised you the most about being back in the fold with this squad of players? Um, I'd say how, obviously, everyone at club football plays such different styles, but when they come here, it's almost like everyone just straight away puts their England hat on and it seems quite seamless. Yeah. the group which obviously is amazing and um, no doubt contributed to last summer's success and hopefully this summer as well yeah yeah definitely you can feel that and you can see that we've just seen some shots as i said from training uh, before when it when you all get together do you just feel like you're all on the same page and you're all ready just to go obviously you've had two weeks being here you've had plenty of time to train and to adapt and to adjust but when it's go time when the world yeah. cup kicks off you've got to get the business yeah. done I think everyone here are really good communicators as well. So if there is sort of anyone who's unsure, they'll just go up and be like, what do you want from this situation? What do you want from me here? And yeah, it's so clear and everyone's just able to be on the same page in that way. How do you navigate that off the pitch then? Because Jill alluded to it, taking her spot at times. <laughs> Possibly you've done that, OK. And I'm going to be very polite when I say this. You're one of the players with... The most life experience, possibly. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not saying that, Jill. All right, I'm not saying it. Do you communicate with the younger players as well off the pitch who maybe they're missing home or they're not? Maybe they're struggling with other stuff as well. Just are you there to talk to them? Have you found yeah. that you've been able to do that? I'd like to think I'm probably a very approachable person, and I try and get around everyone and speak to anyone and everyone, and. That makes me happy as well, knowing different people and knowing bits about them. And I really enjoy getting to know people as well. So, yeah, I'd like to. is the perfect teammate. <laughs> she is. No, you really are. She Why is really that? Is. <laughs> just, I think, in that sense, like, just so humble, so grounded, a really intelligent player. But, yeah, I just think she is the perfect teammate. Yeah. Right, well, when it comes to yourself, then, I'm going to give you a <laughs> smile right there. We'll move on, all right. Don't need to get too embarrassed, OK? When it comes to you and looking after how you feel, what have you brought that reminds you of home, all right? Did you bring anything special with you? Did you have some room in the suitcase to make sure that you've got some yeah, home comforts? Nothing too special, but to just bring me back to being my sort of Best self. I just take myself back, have a bit of quiet time, watch something, read something. That's that's what I All right, like here to. we go. Guilty pleasure. What are you watching at the minute? I'm watching The Morning Show oh. on Apple TV. Oh, OK. Jennifer okay. Aniston. Ru Jennifer Aniston. Ruth, yeah. Ruth, yeah. Ruth, Reese Witherspoon. Oh, um, okay. About a news anchor. 
Oh, interesting. Yeah, I might yeah, put that it. on my list. There we go. Yeah, it's actually it pretty good. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty good. So obviously, we know that you were watching yesterday. We had Chloe Kelly uh, helping us with our debut in Australia, yeah. and we asked her to ask you a question. So look at this. Hey, Kumi. My question for you is: How much are you missing, Juki? <laughs> <laughs> I knew she was going to ask. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I knew she was gonna... It's all we speak about, our dogs. <laughs> I mean, we've got to talk about it because I was scrolling your Instagram. Oh, and... my baby. That is such a cute picture. Oh, I love him so much. How much are you missing him? Oh, massively. I do actually, I probably should have said this, I do find myself just scrolling through pictures of him sometimes, Aww. like videos. That That's is cute. so yeah. cute. Look He's at his eyes. He's Look my son. He's my son. Well, we're going to get you to do the same for the player tomorrow, but okay. obviously we'll do that at the end because we haven't revealed who it is yet. And we're not giving it out just yet, all right? So maybe <laughs> drop in the comments who you think it could be. And any questions that you've got, possibly, keep them generic, though, because you don't know who it is just yet. And then we'll get Laura to do the same a little bit later on. Well, Laura, we've talked about friendly faces from home. We've just seen one there. We've got another one for you, right. all right? Okay, <laughs> now joining us on the show is your former teammate, Jilly Flatty. Jilly, welcome to Lioness's Down Under how are you doing? Welcome. It's great to have you here. How's things? Oh, good, thank you. Kim, sorry, is this a disappointment as well, by the way, when I said friendly face? <laughs> <laughs> That's a lovely friendly face. Hi, Jilly. You thank okay? You. <laughs> you all right? Yeah, no, I'm good, thank you. I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, all good, thank you. So, obviously, you played with Coombsy. Sorry, I have to keep saying Coombsy. <laughs> Arsenal, Chelsea. I think we even have a picture of you at England under 19. Oh, God. Played at England one. level as well. Look at them baby faces. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at them eyebrows. Is that Look at the barnet. We were ready for the game. Um, I just wanted to ask you, how proud are you of Laura being in this squad, representing England in the World Cup in Australia? Oh, I'm so proud of her. I think the season just gone, I think she's had one of her best seasons as well. Um, but yeah, I think obviously me and Coombs, we've known each other since 15, 16. Um, and yeah, to see obviously her journey in the game as well. But yeah, to see her get her... The call up for a senior tournament. Yeah, I'm so chuffed. Um, chuffed for, and nobody deserves it more in my eyes. Aww. I mean, let's continue embarrassing Laura then, <laughs> all right. Uh, Jilly, when we're talking about Laura as a player, also as a person, you said you've known her, you've seen her grow up as well. Let's sing her praises, all right. What makes her so special as a footballer, but as a person as well? I think growing up, like, she was, I mean, she was always such a good trainer, like an athlete, like just loved running. There'd be times, I'm the complete opposite, by the way. I'm the other end of the scale when it comes <laughs> to that. Um, the running side of it. But yeah, Coombsy was there. Obviously, she just always had such a great work rate, a great attitude um, and, a, and a great friend as well. I think, you know, there's been times we played against each other and I mean, we might have a bit of a go at each other as well and then, after the game, straight away, you know, you're giving each other a hug. And obviously, we've, we've took our separate ways in regards to football because obviously I stayed down for south for quite a lot of it and obviously then Coombs went up north. Um, but even that, you know, you don't see each other for months on end and then you see each other and, and things just seem this, the way they've always been. Um, but yeah, she's been a, a, a great advocate for the women's game, you know, great. When, when it shows when you work hard, you know, the journey that you can go on. Um, and I, obviously I don't want to mention her age, but to obviously be in the, the World Cup and get a World Cup call up now, it just goes to show does, age is nothing but a number. You know, if you're playing well, you're going to get picked. Yeah. Coombsy, we played against Jilly a lot of times in the uh, Barclays WSL and also for England as well. But what did you make of Jilly as a player? Time to embarrass her. <laughs> Jilly's like a leader for sure. Just you can always hear her. I used to call her fog on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she's a strong tackler, reads the game well. Just, yeah, someone you definitely want on your team, yeah. always. Yeah, I totally agree. And also a tough tackler. I definitely had some bruises after them games. Now, Jilly, when we're talking uh, about Laura, we're not just focusing on football, all right, because we've just been talking about her dog, Juki. OK, now you've got uh, some French bulldogs, haven't you? You must be enjoying your time with them and being able to spend a bit more time with them now as well. 
Yeah, so obviously I've got a, I don't just wear dog t shirts all the time, but I've got a dog top on at the moment. Um, but my partner, uh, well, since I retired and moved back home, my partner set up like a, a dog walking um, service. So we obviously we, we hire out a field, we take the dogs there every day. It's basically like dog school, really. Um, so I've got, yeah, three Frenchies of my own. Oh, I mean, I love, I, and I, I don't want to ball, but I always say I think I'd miss them more than uh, than my partner when going away. Um, <laughs> hopefully, she don't watch this, but uh, yeah, no, the, the, the dogs are everything, and they're they're great characters. So I can understand immensely just how much Laura misses him. She definitely will be watching it. I'm gonna <laughs> add mention that. Yeah. <laughs> sure after. Um, but we've been seeing you doing a lot of punditry in the Barclays WSL, absolutely smashing it. We know you're going to be doing so, some core comms as well for the World Cup. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, I really love it. I mean, I think for me, I I, um, I love talking about football. I love watching football. Um, and, you know, they say that my, my voice is a little bit distinctive as well on the, the airwaves, because <laughs> obviously being a proper South East Londoner. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I really enjoy the game, and I'm, I mean, I'm just so grateful now that there's so many opportunities. I think you're looking back when we all started playing, the opportunities to co-commentate and be a pundit on the games was few and far between. You're looking at probably just the FA Cup final once a year that was on the BBC. So, to be able to be given the opportunities now, um, yeah, I'm, I'm grabbing every opportunity I can with both hands, and I'm loving it. Well, Jilly, we need a professional opinion from yourself, all right. No sitting on the fence, OK? This is the last question for you. How do you think England are going to do at this World Cup? Come on, no sitting on the fence. All right. <laughs> no, I, uh, no, I, I want I want England to win it. You know, I think, that, I mean, listen, comfortably should get out of the group. Um, and then obviously then it, it will be difficult afterwards. But I'm an England supporter you know I'm an English player and I want nothing more than England to come home with another trophy and to make it a double yes I love that there we go thank you so much for joining us Jilly on Lionesses Down Under connected by EE -E. it's been a pleasure we'll see you soon thanks Jilly thank you Right, well, there we have it. Thank you so much for Jilly Flatty for joining us right now. Um, well, we've been asking you to get in touch, all right, using the hashtag Lionesses Down Under, and you've done just that. You never fail. I always see the comments. I always see the questions and the messages of support as well. We've had loads of questions coming in, and there's lots of love out there for you, Laura. All right, <laughs> so are you happy to take a few quick fire questions now? Yep. Jill, over to you. So many, actually so many. So here we go. Ella on Instagram wants to know, what is your pre-match meal? Oh. Pre-match meal is pasta, like a garlicky sauce. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh. I'm, I'm quite specific. Treat, so prawns. Yeah. Them last few runs of the game. Yeah. That's <laughs> the opposition. There we yeah. go. Uh, I like Man. that though. I'm hungry now. Fran Mills wants to know who is in charge of the dressing room playlist. Who is that actually? Um, it's Zell, Katie Zell. Oh, okay. She's she's pretty good. She caters for everyone. Oh. Right. Um, although Serena actually did say to her today that her music today was really good because it had Burner Boy in it. Apparently. <laughs> Wow, an exclusive <laughs> yes, right there. Yeah. Serena Vigman is a Burner Boy fan. Yeah, she is. We were all just like... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Brilliant, okay. I did, yeah. that. Yeah. I did not expect that. Brilliant, okay. And then we have RD Photographer. I hope Rich Daly hasn't gone into a new business. <laughs> on YouTube, she asked, how do you get rid of pre-match nerves? Um... If I'm feeling nervous, I think I put my own music in and just have the chilled, calm vibes going on, a few deep breaths. And just, I think if you can control your breathing, that really helps. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. calm, calm music. We used to have some good conversations in the chamber. Yeah, room I'd normally games. be clearing up after you, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. I remember so, you, I remember. Everywhere. Coombsy said to me in the changing rooms once, she was trying to give us some confidence and she was reading the programme and she was going, you've got oh, yeah. goals this season, Jill. And it was actually a zero. Yeah, right, we thought we'd like a thing through it, but it looked like an eight. I was like, okay, oh. for that. Right, last one. Amy on Insta. Do you go sock, sock, shoe, shoe, or sock, shoe, sock, shoe? There's only one right answer to this, Laura, right? Please. Oh, no, please. the pressure. Well, I would just go sock, sock, shoe, shoe. 
Yes. Okay, good. Yes. All right. Come on. Well, okay. Tell when you're preparing for a game, it's got to be right sock, right shoe, left sock, left shoe. I've never done that. So your boot is on before you've even got yeah. your sock on your other foot? I what? don't know. Yeah, it's just like a bit of a superstition. We're going to start a new song. Sock, sock, shoe, shoe, sock, shoe, sock, shoe. <laughs> I, that, I mean, uh, yeah, we might ask this every single time. We'll get every <laughs> single player to tell us what they do on that one. Uh, right, we've got one more question for you. We did this yesterday. I know you've seen it. Mm -hmm. I don't know the question, all right? That's because, oh, well, they're right here. Uh -huh. Okay, these are all anonymous. We've asked players, we've asked staff, we've asked Jill oh, to put some questions in here, <laughs> all right? And nobody knows. They've all been mixed up. You could get anyone's question. You're going to choose one, open it up, and then you're going to uh, let us know what's on there, and you're going to give us an answer, all right? So we've not even seen these, oh, so we don't know. So um, let's get into it. Let's see. These are the world's stickiest envelopes, by the yeah. way. Yeah, we've noticed that. I hope it's not my one. I'll yeah. I have to go out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what I've you made a mess there. Who out of the squad do you think would make a good head coach? Ooh. Hmm. That is a great question. That is a great question. Yeah. I'm actually going to go Katie Zell again. Oh, really? Oh. Great yeah. music and a head coach. Yeah. She watches games and I will not notice anything, but she'll be like, they're doing this and this. And it's like she's very analytical, which you wouldn't really think. Yeah. But, um, yeah. yeah, I'm going to go with Zell. Oh. Yeah, Katie Good Zell. choice. There we Good go. Choice. Great choice. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank yeah. you for getting involved no in that. Now, as you know, of course, we're all about bringing the fans closer to the England players. We're 10,000 uh, miles away, all right, but we like to try and bring them into the studio and we're going to do just that, all right. We can say we've got England fan Graham Falk on the line right now. He's going to join us. He's going to appear. There we go. <laughs> Graham, it's great to have you. Um, how are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Um, I'm dialing in from sunny Glasgow. I'm um, originally from Sunderland though, so um, yeah. Very yes. happy to be here. There we yes. go, there Sunderland you are. Show. I love that, Graham. What is your question for Laura? So, Laura, you made your England debut in 2015, so eight years on, you're deservedly in the squad for the World Cup. But what are the differences for you and your, your mindset and your motivation from your debut in 2015 up until now? Um, I think as I've matured, <laughs> my words rightly. <laughs> I, I think I used to be really sort of worried about how I played and I used to put a lot of pressure on myself and now especially going to City and I just kind of felt that I just need to trust where I've got to in my career and when I go out on the pitch I just try and make myself feel as free as possible and then that really helps me be in better positions and take the most of my chances when I get them and just, yeah, feel more confident within myself. Great answer. Yes. Great question as well, Graham. <laughs> Thank you so much. I've got one for you. Where are you watching England's mm -hmm. first game? I know it's going to be 10.30 in the morning, so are you going to be having a brew? Are you going to be eating your breakfast? What What's your plans looking like on Saturday? The temptation to go to a pub and watch it is is very tempting. <laughs> yeah. I live in Glasgow, so I might just stay in the house Get a nice latte, sit in front of the TV and enjoy your win. Oh, there we nice. Go. Yes. I mean, amazing <laughs> stuff. Graham, thank you so much for joining us on the show today. To say thank you, we're going to send you an England shirt that's signed by all of the players, OK? What do you make of that? Yeah, because they're really difficult to get hold of. So, I mean, even better. <laughs> there um, we go. Yeah, signed as well. That's perfect. They're probably difficult to get yes. hold of because we've got two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can choose from the home or away and we'll get that in the post for you today. But thanks so much, Graham, for being our first live fan guest. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Ha had to be a Mackham, didn't it, Jill? Yes, it had to be. Had to be. I'll, I'll see if I can send you both. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Graham, thank you so much. Oh. So, literally, that went so quick. That is all we've got time for today. Laura, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you on the show. Come on, have a round of applause. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, and we'll be back tomorrow on Lionesses Down Under, connected by EE, with a drum roll, please. Who's the next player? Georgia Stanway. Is All right. it? It is Georgia. Oh. So, we're going to get Georgia in. And, of course, we're going to get you to 
give her um, a question. So get thinking about that one right now. We'll give you a little bit of time before we get you to send that one in. But yeah. I can't believe how quick it's gone I today. I know, Taz. And make sure you don't miss it. You can catch it on all the social channels. We've got YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. Yep, you got Nailed them all. 12.30 UK time on Friday. Yes, and as a countdown to England's first game gets closer and closer and closer, we'll leave you with a very special video to get you in the mood for the action on the pitch. I cannot wait for this tournament to get started for us right here. And it features a couple of uh, faces you might recognise. Oh, no. You know what? I know what video this is. I'm sure Leah has to do stuff with me so that she looks better. Well, there you are. It's Leah and Jill. Take a look at this. Roll the video. Last summer? Yeah, that summer. Quite the story. And now, well, this job is never done. So, ready for the next chapter? Set your alarms, conquer those time zones. Football for breakfast. No better start to the day. Rallying together for our country, for a team that leaves everything on the pitch. It's what we live for. Every save, every shot, every tackle, from kickoff to final whistle. We'll cheer for our lionesses, the loudest and proudest. That's us. From armchairs to playgrounds, at home or down under, let's ride the highs and lows together. Wave those flags like never before, wear the three lines of pride, and support England every step of the way. New horizons, same mission, one family. World Cup 2023, let's do this. Thank mm -hmm. you.